a skill that we're going to have to make sure that we have down when we're going to multiply sign numbers is making sure that we know how to multiply decimals together. And so I'm going to show you really what it means to multiply a decimal number times an integer or a decimal number times a decimal number. And I'm going to start you off with actually division, dividing by 10. And so you're probably thinking to yourself, why are we talking about division when we're going to multiply decimals? Well, let me show you. For each of these, you should know what the answer is going to be. 3 divided by 10 means that we're going to move the place value in the number 3, one place value, to the left. So in the number 3, the decimal starts just after it, and dividing it by 10 would move it one place to the left. So the answer would be 0 0.3. For the number 40, if we divide that by 10, it again moves the decimal one place to the left. And so 40 becomes 4. 50 cents, or 0 0.50, if we divide that by 10, the decimal moves one place to the left. And that's going to be 0 0.05. So when we look at a multiplication problem like 5 times 0 0.3, we can look at it a second way. 5 times 3 divided by 10 is the same thing. It's going to give us the same answer. Well, I think that everybody here can do 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is going to give us 15. And then if we take that 15, and we remember what we did before, and we just divide it by 10, basically moving the decimal one place to the left in the number 15, we're going to get our answer of 1.5. And so 5 times 0 0.3 is 1.5. Both of them would be the same. All right, so I've got two problems for you to try. Pause the video, see if you can do the easy one, and maybe you can do the harder one as well. When you unpause the video, I'll have answers for you. All right, let's zoom in on the easy one first. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize that 0 0.4 times 8 is the same thing as 4 times 8. And then we divide that answer by 10. 4 times 8 is going to give me 32. And then if I divide that by 10, that number by 10, I'm going to move the decimal one place to the left, and it's going to get me 3.2. So 8 times 0 0.4, or 0 0.4 times 8, is going to be 3.2. The harder one, we've got to move the decimal in both of them. 0.2 times 0.6. In this particular case, we're going to say it's 2 times 6, but then we're going to divide by 10 twice. Divide by 10 and divide by 10 again. 2 times 6 is going to give us 12. And then we're going to move the decimal one place value and then a second place value because we're dividing by 10 twice. And so we end up with the answer of 0.12. And so we can say that it's 0 0.12 is our final answer. Hopefully that helps you with dividing. Uh, excuse me. Hopefully, hopefully that helps you with multiplying decimal numbers. It makes it a little bit easier for you going forward.